Okay, sorry about that, guys. Just messed up a lot here. <laughs> oh yeah, um, gun safety. All right. Uh, if you got a rifle, you're allowed to have it, of course, in a safe, along with your pistols. But wall mounts aren't allowed because they're too accessible, I guess. You can see them from the road, and people get freaked out and whatever they have. <laughs> And if you want to go to the shooting range, you have to have it in a casing that is locked, so no one can get to it. Which is also bullshit, because, well, you can't have it concealed upon you without anyone ever noticing it. But hey, not a lot in Denmark. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, let's see one more, one more. Oh, you're shooting in the open, for instance. <clears throat> you can only shoot at range. Not range. Shooting ranges. Sorry about that. I am Danish after all. <laughs> uh, hunting is only permitted in certain areas. And if they're... Oh, well, if it's near uh, town or basically where people are, don't shoot. Because if you hit someone, you're in deep, deep trouble here. Okay, I I'm just going to tell you a story. Uh, a few years back, we had a... Uh, Jewel store, jewelry, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Uh, he'd been hit, I think it was two times, by robbers. He had to live upstairs, so, yeah, luckily nothing happened. The third time, he really had enough, so he went ahead and got his rifle. He shot the motherfuckers, alright? <laughs> I guess I, I, was, I was so fucking happy for that guy, I was like, go on, man. He ended up in prison. Okay, for shooting two assholes who broke in and stole his freaking things from his shop. Okay, he was protecting his freaking property and he got in, thrown in jail for that. That's how lame it is here in Denmark. If someone breaks into my house, <clears throat> you can be damn sure I will do anything in my power to fucking get those assholes out and make sure those guys never do it again but Danish law is so insane that you can only hit someone who breaks into a or actually make pain upon them if it's in self-defense meaning that you have to have a visual what do you want to call like cut or whatever graduation you basically have to bleed before it's okay for you to smash the freaking brains in Okay, that, that's how stupid it is. Like, you guys in the States, I know you ain't kidding around when someone tries to break into your house, but here? Holy shit, we have to fucking think about it. My dad had uh, two guys break into his house like two months ago, alright? My dad now has a uh, metal plate in his neck. Though he did hit one of them with a the huge ass flashlight, with, which is like, go dad, you know? Okay, but, but the cops were like, yeah, okay, he, he's an old man, and those guys were, what, about my age? Okay, I, I'm turning 27 this month, so, yeah, I was like, what the fuck? Okay, <laughs> so yeah, Danish law is so narrow-mindedly stupid that it pisses me off to the point where I just want to get the hell out of here. Okay, I don't want to live in a country where you can't defend yourself. You aren't allowed to carry anything at all to really be safe. Hell, take our bikes. We can't do shit to them. Alright, we aren't even allowed to, like, have... Yeah, if you want to put in a bigger motor or shit, you can do that. It's like, oh my god. Okay, and, and, yeah. As you can hear, I ain't happy about living in Denmark, okay? Uh, I really hate it. We've got too many fucking laws here. There it is. That's so stupid. That's why I joined the NRA. And actually, today, I got the confirmation mail that I am now a member of the NRA. And you may ask, why is a Danish guy a member of the NRA? Well, to protect your Second Amendment. Your rights to carry weapons because we don't got it. Okay? Don't ever let those assholes take it away from you. Because if they do, man, you don't want to live there anymore, trust me. 
it, it, it's bullshit. It pisses you off. And shit, I ran 